Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at the top story we are tracking on Dispatch, the long-awaited Sue Gray report on the alleged parties at the British Prime Minister's residence has finally reached Downing Street. Gray handed her report to Boris Johnson, but key details are expected to be left out of it. The report into lockdown parties in Downing Street will act as a verdict on Prime Minister Boris Johnson's future. Weeks of so-called party gate revelations had forced the British Prime Minister to order an internal inquiry. And as senior civil servant, Sue Gray was asked to look into the claims. But the involvement of police last week will prevent full details from emerging. The party gate scandal has prompted widespread public and political anger about the breaking of lockdown rules by the government itself. The delay of Gray's report has given the embattled Prime Minister some breathing space as he has promised to address Parliament as soon as it was published. For the last few weeks, all eyes are now on Sue Gray, a British civil servant who is currently second permanent secretary in the Cabinet Office and has been described by colleagues as the person who runs the United Kingdom. So far, reports of over 15 lockdown parties have emerged. Some have been held in Downing Street. Now, others have been held in different government offices, like the Treasury and the Education Department. Farewells and birthday parties have been held. Christmas was celebrated. All while COVID-19 cases were surging and Britain was under a lockdown. Until now, Johnson has refused to quit despite the fierce backlash and calls for resignation from his own party members. The release of the report will soon determine Boris Johnson's future at Downing Street. Our correspondent Oli Barrett gets you more on this story from London. The long-awaited report is in, or at least part of it. Sue Gray has submitted an update, is how it's being described by the Cabinet Office, to Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Downing Street. And that therefore means that he will go to the House of Commons and give MPs a response to what the report has found. But it is not the complete report because Sue Gray was asked by police not to include details that police are looking into uh, with regards to potential illegality when it comes to uh, allegations of parties in and around Downing Street over the last two years. And so that means that the report that's gone to the Prime Minister uh, does uh, contain some uh, broad uh, conclusions and some findings, but not all all of the detail that Sue Gray would have been expecting to report uh, had the police not asked her to redact some of it. That means a couple of things. It means that the opposition say that Boris Johnson is now uh, not really responding to a full and complete picture at this stage, but they also uh, know that that will remain hanging over the Prime Minister until the police do conclude their investigations. But Boris Johnson is very much expected to try and use the receipt of the Sue Gray report as a, a, an attempt to move his uh, premiership on. He will apologise in the House of Commons. He'll say that the culture needs to change in Downing Street. He'll announce some changes with staff, we expect, as well, and then try and refocus the government's attention on matters from Ukraine to the cost of living crisis to Brexit and so on. The opposition won't want to allow him to do that. The Labour Party will continue to call for Boris Johnson to resign and he could well still face a leadership challenge from within his own party. But Boris Johnson uh, will accept responsibility for some of the wrongdoing that we expect that Sue Gray has pointed to and, as I say, try and move the conversation onwards. But he still remains a Prime Minister very much in peril. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.